Hello everyone, it's Hunter, and I just wanted to take a moment to talk about why known as Catalog Hitting Spotify. Now, I've had these songs forever. I got my first, actually, I got the Judd's cassette of Love Can Build a Bridge, probably Easter of 90 or 91, probably 91, and I didn't get to go see them, but starting with Winona's first solo record, oh, and I got the Judd's collection in there too, but starting with Winona's first solo record, had everything she ever put out. So I experienced the Winona catalog in real time. Of course, thanks to the Judd's collection and subsequently having bought all the records on CD, having them digitally and on vinyl that are available, I've gone back and truly love the Judd's catalog as well. But there's been a delineation a little bit um, because, you know, you think about the Judd's and then you think about Winona and it was such a big deal at the time when she went solo. So, I've really had to, now Now that I really don't keep up with my iTunes account anymore, I have really only had the Judd's Greatest Hits and Wine Own a Collection on Spotify streaming, which is very limiting, although you can still see the greatness of, of the catalog. It really doesn't give you everything. So, yesterday when I was going to walk my dog, I discovered that the entire Judd's and Winona catalogs have been uploaded to Spotify, which like that and Garth Brooks are like the ones that are not there. Of course the Beatles aren't there, but for me personally, Garth and the Judd's are, and Winona, those full catalogs not being able, being able to be there, have really been a baller for me because I would love to just hear them and I make all these compilations and um, they really, there's so much fabulous music, even Winona's there's never been a bad one on a record. I mean, there's been things that maybe weren't your taste, but she's all that voice always is there. There's always interesting song choices. So, going back yesterday and making these playlists, it was really great because I got to break down all the walls between the Judds and Winona and those two separate entities. I just went because Winona is the voice of them. I named them all Winona. So, I made different mixes from different themes, like Winona's love songs, and going back to the Judds too, um, their hurt songs, the hurting songs, oh, uh, the regulating songs, like No One Else on Earth, but also like, like Freebird, um, I did an inspirational one, which is songs about uplifting the human spirit, or about the Lord, and there is also the other one is reflection like grandpa tell me about the good old days or that Katie Oslin song that they did called old pictures and flies on the butter which always reminds me of mommy mom so it's just a really exciting day because having all these at my fingertips again is just really great and I'm glad hopefully that a new generation will be able to just stream these songs and really get to know the magic and wonder. And I'm also hoping that next week the Judds will be going into the Country Music Hall of Fame because they deserve it. I've really worked, wanted this for a long time uh, and, and hopefully that'll happen soon. How do I look? Okay. Anyway, so exciting. Go check out and play with the Judds and Winona full catalog on Spotify. It had been on Beats before, but having it on Spotify is just a real breakthrough. Barishka Hargitay.